Good morning everyone from beautiful Wales. This is a short video from Blue and I on our noticing. So we're here looking at this tree, which I know is an oak tree because I recognise the acorns. I wonder what your children would notice and what it might lead them to ask. I've worked with adults before who haven't yet been introduced to the idea that each tree has its own leaf shape. You know, if that's you, don't be embarrassed about it. Just think this is the next step in your learning. Um, go and have a look. If I get it on a nice clear view, we could take an example off the ground and have a look at what an oak leaf looks like. But what I'm particularly interested in is the acorns. So we've got, look at that subitizing there. We've got three acorn cups with one acorn. There's an acorn there, another one in its cup some of them are hiding so it's really lovely look we've got two peeping through there and here again we've got ooh, got one that is full and one that is empty there is so much to notice it's just beautiful the science and the maths here I hope that's clear for you so that i think we've got two there that are full and one empty cup and i'm not sure what that thing is above i'd like to ask about that so this is leading me as well as doing lots of noticing, this is a great look, this is a great three and not three. Can you see that that is definitely not three? There's, you might not be able to see as many as I can, there's loads there. So we could think about how do you know, when we play my three and not three game, how do you know that's not three? But I've got lots of questions about oak trees and acorns now. I also want to know about what's happening here, because that looks a little bit different. Is that dying and why? And then look at the knobbly, lovely knobbly branches. Do all trees have knobbly branches like that? We've also got lichen growing on this tree and you only get lichen where the air is very, very clean. So it's a good, um, good bit of evidence that where you're living has got very healthy air, less pollution. And where was I just looking? Oh, I don't know if you can see, just to finish. Is it in focus? Let me just try and get that in focus there. So there's some beautiful clusters of acorns. So this is fantastic for science. It's fantastic for your well-being. It's brilliant for language and noticing. It is wonderful for maths. There's so much one, two and three and the three and not three game. So from Blue and I and the woods, just uh, happy noticing, happy subitizing, happy being a scientist wherever you are in the world.